Hey folks, what I've got here is mission 81 of Battle Box, and we're going to check it out right now on Kitbashed Survival. So Battle Box is a monthly subscription box service that delivers sort of hunting, outdoor, camping, survival type gear, as it says on the side of the box survival and tactical gear delivered monthly. Now, these types of boxes aren't for everybody. The stuff that's in here, I don't need. The stuff I need, I already have. I just do this for fun. Anyway, let's go ahead and crack it open. And there we go. So the first thing you're greeted with is basically a letter of apology from the folks at BattleBox because they were late in shipping Mission 81 due to, surprise, surprise, supply chain issues. Anyway, to compensate for that, they give you a 50% off coupon code. And then we've got the mission briefing for Mission 81. Nice picture. And as I've said before, there are four levels of battle box. There's the basic box, the advanced box, the pro box, and the pro plus box, which is the knife of the month. Now, I always get the pro plus box, so let's go ahead and check out what's in Mission 81. So there are three items in the basic box for Mission 81, and this is the first one. It's the Save Aqua Tap with Spigot Adapter. So, you know when you have those big jugs of water or bags of water, they've got a spigot on them, and when you turn the spigot on, a lot of times it ends up wasting water. Well, this is intended to prevent that and help you conserve the water that you have. So this little thing fits into the spigot and allows you to better regulate the water that's coming out, which is pretty cool. Self-closing tap, fits most water containers, tough and durable construction, installs in a few minutes, light and portable. Got the instructions for, oops, there we go. There's the instructions for installing it. I got a few pieces here. These are spigot adapter pieces. And then this is the actual device that allows you to conserve water. And what it does is it fits up in there and then you hit this thing when you need water and that ball comes up and allows the water to flow. So I've got a little five gallon thing of water in this room. Let's go ahead and try this out. Okay, so I decided it'd be a little easier and less messy to show this to you in my garage workshop. So here's a five gallon water container and it's got one of these Reliance water valves that you find on a lot of water containers like this. And this AquaSave thing is designed to work with these Reliance water valves. Although you can also use it with a water bladder that has a water hose. That's what this adapter is for. And you can also make your own valve. It's got a little cutting tool embedded into it. Let me see if I can get it out of there. See, it's got those cutting tools there and that will allow you to cut your own valve in just a plastic jug. So you cut the hole and then you shove the thing in there and it acts like its own water valve, which is pretty cool. But we're gonna use it with this Reliance valve because these are pretty common. So ordinarily, you just open the valve and you pour your water, no big deal. But if you're doing something that requires two hands, like washing your hands or something like that, it can waste water because you turn the water on and you're using your hands and then you have to go and turn it off and in between you can waste a lot of water. So that's what this thing is designed to prevent. So the way this works with these Reliance valves is you take this plastic piece here and you screw it into the Reliance valve and it's got a little rubber gasket on there. There we go. I think that's it. And then with this piece you undo this end and I had it backwards upstairs. This is the end that goes into the valve and this is the end that is on the outside. So screw that up in there like so. And then the water doesn't flow like that. And then when you hit it up, the water will flow until it falls back down. So let's see if this thing's going to work. I'm going to turn the, oops, I'm going to turn the water on like so. Oh yeah, it does work. That's pretty cool. 
yeah, that works pretty well. And you can see that it would save a lot of water rather than leaving this thing open for an extended period of time. And if you need to keep it on for a while, you can poke this thing up in here like that, and then it stays on for a while, and then you can pull it down. So pretty cool. It does work. All right, here's the next item in the basic box, and this is the First Line Gun Oil Pen. Apparently, this business is veteran-owned, which is always cool. So basically, this is like a precision sort of oil pen that's supposed to be leak-free and mess-free and EDC-friendly. So let's get this out and see what it's about. First line CLP oil applicator. Ensure all firearms are unloaded. So it's for oiling firearms, apparently. All right. Now it doesn't come with the oil in it. I think you have to add the oil. No, oh, it does have oil in it. My bad. It's got like these brushes here. And then. Oh, okay, I, I get it. You turn this and it ratchets it down and puts out some oil. That's pretty cool. <laughs> you know, when I first saw this in the box, I thought it was kind of lame. I was like, okay, some gun oil, who cares? But this is actually kind of cool. You ratchet it down and it puts out the oil out of this brush. I like that. Now, I wonder if you can refill it. That's the big question. Yeah, I'm not, I don't think you can refill this, but it's still pretty cool. It's got an aluminum body. And yeah, I like the idea there. <laughs> First line, synthetic CLP gun oil. That'd be really cool if you could refill it, but apparently you can't, unless I'm totally mistaken, which of course I always could be. All right, the final item in the basic box is this Duraderm Sport Advanced Skin Repair. And from what I've read about it, it's basically liquid bandage or super glue for your skin. I've always heard that super glue was actually developed for medical use. And then it was later on used for other purposes. But yeah, you can use it to close up wounds just fine. Back when I used to be in a band, uh, when I was younger in college, I was in a band. And I played guitar. And anytime if you got a cut on your finger before a gig or any sort of injury on your finger before a gig, you would put super glue on it to close it up and allow you to play guitar. So definitely works. Okay, cool. So it kills, seals, protects, and heals. And it's got an applicator built into each bottle. Duraderm Sport is a microbial liquid polymer that actively kills viruses, fungi, and bacteria on contact and forms a clear, odorless, flexible film barrier that protects the wound from water, dirt, and germs. So it's got something in there to sterilize the wound. But I'm guessing this is probably just the same stuff as liquid bandage, just with a disinfectant put into it but let's see what's the ingredients organic polymer and methylene chloride organic solvent okay well next time I get a cut I'll have to try one of these I thought it was like medical super glue liquid bandage stuff but maybe it's this is a different formulation of something I don't know that's pretty cool anyways this will go in my first aid box Next up, we've got the Advanced Box, and there are two items in the Advanced Box for Mission 81. First one is the Rapid Pure Water Purification Straw. So it's a filter straw, kind of like a life straw, just a different take on one. It's fascinating how compact water filtration has got in recent years. I mean, when I was a kid, they didn't have anything like this at least not in mass production that was inexpensive or anything like that. 
Oh, you know what? I've seen this before. This was in the Sokoa S3 Survival Kit, which is an excellent survival kit. I did a video on it a while back. If you haven't seen that, I'll put a link to it. But yeah, this is the Rapid Pure filtration straw. So you put this right here and you dunk this in the water and you drink out of this end. Yeah, pretty cool. This is actually the second one of these that I own. <laughs> Not bad at all. Now the one that was in the Sokoa kit didn't come with this nice little carry bag. So that's a bonus. But yeah, there it is. The Rapid Pure Water Purification Straw. And the second item in the advanced box is an SOL emergency blanket, otherwise known as a space blanket. And I gotta say, it seems a bit lame to have this in the advanced box of a battle box. These are very inexpensive. The list price in the mission briefing is $5. I've got about a million of these in my survival room here. You know, it's always nice to have another one, but at the end of the day, it kind of feels like filler. I mean, it'd be okay if it was in the basic box, but in the advanced box, it's kind of an odd thing to have. But you know, it's a space blanket. They are useful in survival situations. And if you're a Battle Box subscriber and you don't have one of these, which I would think that most people who subscribe to Battle Box probably have one or more of these, well, now you'll definitely have one. All right, next up we've got the Pro Box, and this is nicer than a space blanket. This is the LED Lenser or LED Lenser ML6 Lantern. And this looks pretty cool. So let's see, Micro Prism Technology, patented lens technology with optical microstructure for glare-free light distribution. It's a power bank and it has smart light technology microcontroller for custom light functions. And here are the specs. Light output at boost is 750 lumens. Regular is 550 and low power is 5. Runtime is 4 hours on regular, 240 hours on low power. Pretty cool. The weight including the batteries is 9.9 .9 ounces. And it's got one rechargeable lithium ion battery. And a seven year warranty apparently. And in the mission briefing it says this has a price right at $80. There's the lithium ion battery. Got a carrying bag, not bad. Charger cable, micro USB to USB. Here's the lantern itself. To fully close the battery cover, screw the cover all the way in. All right. Okay, so all the way in. There we go. Well, they got a little tripod mount screw thing there, and this is magnetic here. We got our power and brightness switch input there to charge it output right here to charge your phone or whatever can hold it like that and then this thing apparently can be used to hang it upside down so apparently this goes in here like that yeah and then you can hang it on a branch or whatever you want to do LED Lenser. LED Lenser. I wonder if that's LED Lenser or LED Lenser. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, I've been playing with this for a few minutes and I think I got all the light modes figured out. So that's your standard white light and you can make it dim or bright. Then you got a red light and I gotta say the light looks really cool coming out of this thing. I'm not sure if you can see it on camera but 
It looks very cool. That must be that lens technology they were talking about. So that's red. Back to white. Then we got white flashing. Red flashing. And back to white. It's pretty cool. It's also got a strobe mode. So if you hold both ends of this button down, there it is. You get a red strobe. Kind of interesting. <laughs> and then back to normal light. And again, I know you can't see it on camera, but the light coming from this thing looks really cool. They did a great job with it. And then there's some glow in the dark stuff down here. So that when it's off, you've got a little bit of a glow. Yeah, I like this. It's got a good weight to it as well. The LED Lenser or LED Lenser ML6. I like it. And lastly, we've got the Pro Plus box, which is the knife of the month. And for Mission 81, we've got the Revolt Knives Reflex. Now, BattleBox has put quite a few Revolt Knives into their missions before, and they've always been very good knives. So I'm sure this one's going to be nice as well. And these Revolt Knives are always very interesting in their design. Very unconventional. So let's see. Pulls out like that. See, it's got this, <laughs> it's got this thing going on there. <laughs> and it locks there. <laughs> Very interesting. VG10 steel, which is a good steel. Yeah, <laughs> feels good. I'm not sure what these scales are made out of. They're, they seem like metal almost. Yeah, I think they are metal. And it says the pocket clip is reversible, which is good because I'm left-handed. Yeah, I like this. Got a little drop point there. I like the shape of that blade, nice belly. Razor sharp, no doubt about that. Wow, this is a very cool knife. The price listed in the mission briefing is $100, and I believe that. Now, how do you close it? That's the question. Okay. <laughs> yeah, um, it's very cool. I mean, but I, I kind of, I'm kind of nervous with it, to tell you the truth. It doesn't doesn't flip open. It's not a flipper. Kind of requires two hands to do the whole thing. At least right now it does. And it's a little unnerving closing this thing. I mean, <laughs> I'll be honest. It's it's different. It is different. And these revolt knives are always different. There we go. Now I one handed it. Let's see if I can one hand close it. <laughs> yeah. This is a little bit scary. <laughs> Opening it, not quite as scary. I can do that one-handed with a good bit of confidence, although not with a lot of speed. But closing it, yeah, you, you really need to have two hands to do that. Yeah, so I'm not sure this is the most practical knife ever made, but just in terms of the sheer ingenuity and originality, it's very cool. This would definitely take some getting used to, but yeah, you see that action is really cool. So definitely an original design. You can't accuse them of copying someone else, that's for sure. I don't think this will be my EDC knife anytime soon, just because of the complexity and the nervousness of opening and closing this thing, but I've got hundreds of knives in my collection and so I've got tons of regular EDC knives, but when you get something like this, it's always fun because 
it brings something different to the table and is definitely unique among all the knives I have. I like it. All right, so here's all this stuff from Mission 81 of BattleBox. Overall, I thought this was an okay mission. Not the best ever. Most of the stuff in here is useful, although not that exciting. And it was kind of surprised because typically I've noticed that with BattleBox, the best missions tend to come in November, December, January, and February because that's the time of year when they're gonna add the most members. And quite frankly, this is not super exciting. I mean, it does have some cool stuff. The knife is definitely cool. I like the lantern a lot. The water filter is cool. But the rest of the stuff is not that exciting, although it is useful. So it's kind of a mixed bag, but that's just my opinion. Let me know what you think in the comments below. For now, that's it. I'm Eric Siegel. This is Kitbashed Survival. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.